Hey Magical Sparks, welcome back to my channel, it's Sparkle here, and today I have a sketchbook tour for you guys. This is the first sketchbook I've completely filled in since 2022 started, so I cannot wait to show you guys my sketches and pretty much my art style evolution to be honest. So let's get straight into this. Now before I talk about these stickers, I want to talk about the first page. So for the first page, I designed this character inspired by s'mores, kind of, and that's kind of what inspired these stickers as well. So this sticker is a s'more, as you can tell, and I also made this sticker to stick on the front, but it kind of wasn't sticking, so I stuck it here. And I also made a video on this if you want to go and check it out. And I started this sketchbook on the 3rd of January, and I finished it just recently on the 30th of June. So on this page, it was actually kind of something that I wasn't expecting because I made these random sketches but I didn't like how they were turning out so I stuck these sticky notes on top and just did some doodles on them and some doodles on the paper as well. Here I was just kind of experimenting with my art style and trying to draw a guy which did not go too well but I also tried to make the page look really colourful and these guys are my first OCs of 2022 and they just started off as random drawings but then they became original characters and now they have their own background story and everything but I also love how colourful this page is as well and just how cohesive it is just a random smiley face this was a collab with another artist here on YouTube and I actually posted a video on this as well and I tried the 10 art styles challenge, it was so much fun I did my art style, Gravity Falls, Adventure Time, My Little Pony, Kim Possible, Disney, Sailor Moon, Powerpuff Girls, Scooby-Doo and Fairly Odd Parents and it was my dog's birthday so I made this little doodle for him as well and this was also another collab with an artist here on YouTube. I also posted a video on this and this was basically a three emoji challenge. And I think the three emojis I got were a sand timer, a sword, and I think cherry blossoms. And I had to try and turn them into a drawing, which was honestly pretty hard for me. And this was just some Encanto fan art that kind of inspired another page that you will see soon. Here I was just kind of experimenting with my art style and stylizing different features of the face and how I draw hair. And here I made a realistic drawing, I tried realism, and I think it turned out pretty cool. I just drew Spider-Man because I didn't want to like draw anything too detailed and kind of spoil this, so I kind of just pressed lightly and drew Spider-Man. Here I was trying out different colors for the hair and trying out different outfits, and I was trying to practice shading fabric, uh, that did not go too well, but I do like the texture on this jacket. And this was my entry for a Draw This In Your Art Style contest. Oh, here I was turning donuts into people, so for the first donut, it was a strawberry glazed donut with rainbow sprinkles, and here's how that turned out. The second donut was a chocolate glazed donut with a white chocolate drizzle, and this one was my favorite. It was a sugar coated donut with jam filling, and I just love how this turned out. And if you watch the video, you'll find out that this one was the one that wasn't turning out good, but in the end, it turned out to be my favorite. Just some more random doodles, and I got new mechanical pencils. And yeah, this is the um, Encanto inspired page that I made afterwards, which was kind of based off the previous page that I showed you guys before, but I drew Bruno this time. Here I took a break from art, and then I did a video where I drew whatever my subscribers told me, and this video took me ages to draw and edit, but I feel like it was totally worth it. And here I was just kind of playing around with my art, I had so much fun making this painting, and I just loved experimenting and making something different. This was a random doodle that I did while I was watching a movie, but I just love how colorful it is, and I used ballpoint pens to do the entire doodle. Here I drew a girl with flowers around her, I love how abstract this is. And this drawing here is my favorite, and this is the drawing that my dog and I did together because I let him decide what my OC was going to look like, and then I tried to design this OC based off the prompts he gave me. Here I drew a character from Demon Slayer, and then I tried to draw another character from Demon Slayer, but I like the sketch for this one, not so much the finished drawing though. Here I was kind of inspired by different things I saw on Pinterest, so I was kind of trying to experiment with how I colored in fabric and how I colored in hair as well. At this point, for some reason, I felt like changing my art style, so this is just a bunch of experimenting. And this was just more experimenting, and this was just some more experimentation. I made this sketch back then, but I did color this in recently. And this is just like, this is just like more experimenting because I was just so confused and I just wanted to experiment and make random sketches to figure out my art style. Again, more experimenting and then I tried to make this drawing with a different kind of art style. 
I like the idea behind it, but I just don't like how I did it. And if I could, I would probably redraw this again in my current art style just to see how far I've come. Here I made some turning red fan art, and I loved making this entire page from sketching to line art to coloring to adding the white gel and highlights. I just loved the entire process. And at this point, I could feel an art block coming on, so I tried my best to make sure it didn't come on, so I made this random doodle, even though I barely had time when I was making it. Alright, so here I drew my OCs and decided to change my art style, and this was kind of when the art block started to go away, so I felt like it was a pretty good change. Just some more drawing, uh, and this drawing turned into an OC as well. This was a character inspired by Easter. I also call it in a digital version of this character. I'll put it up on the screen here if you want to see. And yeah, I tried coloring this with my old markers and I kind of like the green jacket. Okay, we're not going to talk about this page. It's just, no, no, we're not talking about it. But I love how these two chibi drawings turned out so cute. And here I was kind of just planning ideas for a new profile picture. This was my first idea. And this was my second idea and third idea, but I decided to go with this one. Also, these are just digital drawings that I printed out and stuck in my sketchbook. This was the drawing that I made during my first ever live stream on YouTube. I love how it turned out the colors. It is a bit rough, but it just brings back really nice memories. Just a random doodle. And here is my first drawing for Mermaid. And also here is an alternate version. I'll put it up on the screen as well. But yeah, I was just experimenting with different colors and everything. This drawing was one that I made back then, but I colored it in recently and finished it recently. I was going to make this like a realistic drawing, but then I just wanted to make it abstract afterwards. But in the end, I love how it turned out. I think it just looks so cool. This drawing was just extremely random. I just drew random girls and then I decided to go with like a different color palette and I decided to use greens and purples. I love how this turned out as well. And I think my favorite thing about this page is probably the background. Here I drew my friend's cat, she is the cutest kitten in the world. And then I got these new metallic watercolors, so I decided to swatch them and try them out. This was a drawing that I didn't like, but I didn't want to throw away, so I just stuck it in my sketchbook. Let's try and not look at that. And this was just me trying to catch up on Mermaid. And this drawing was going pretty good, but then I did something to the face and it doesn't look nice anymore, so I just stuck this sticky note on top. And I used my Prismacolor markers to color it. Here I tried using more of a sketchy art style and I drew Tom Holland as Spider-Man. I was going to make this realistic as well, but then I just kind of lost motivation at a point and I wanted to try making it look really messy and I think I did make it look pretty messy, but I kind of like it though. Here I decided to turn some emojis into mermaids. So these were the emojis that you guys voted on from my community post and it was a mushroom emoji and a cherry blossom emoji. And this was when I was kind of trying to experiment with how I colored hair. Here I drew Pikachu and I lost motivation to finish this drawing so it still stays as a sketch. Here I was just kind of planning out what to do for my 1k special video and I ended up making this drawing. It's not in this sketchbook, it's in a different sketchbook so if you want to see how it turned out, make sure to go and check out that video and this drawing kind of inspired that. Also I think this doodle is my favorite doodle in this entire sketchbook because it is so, so cute. And here are just some swatches of my Prismacolor Premier markers that I got and then I drew the Mona Lisa. It still feels so weird saying that, like, hey I drew the Mona Lisa. But yeah, I love how this turned out and I love how the blending turned out for the skin as well, especially the eyes. I don't know why, the eyes just look so pretty this drawing. This was just a random doodle. I think I made this during exam times. I just like, whenever I got time to draw, I just made these random doodles and then worked on the line art. And then I did the coloring recently. I like how colorful the page is done, like how the color palette is pretty cohesive and it matches. And I just like how full it is as well. This was my entry for a Draw This New Art Style contest and it was really nice. I did this after my exams were done and it was a really nice way for me to get back into art and it was just so much fun in general to draw something with so much detail and also I love drawing the kitten. He's so cute and this was the hashtag for the Draw This New Art Style. Here I could feel an art block coming on again. Honestly, if you guys have any tips to make art block go away, please tell me, I need to know. But I just made this really simplistic drawing, you know, in contrast, like a really detailed drawing. And it did help me get out of the art block, surprisingly. And yeah, school break started as well. These are the drawings that I made in the video where I gave you guys anatomy tips and showed you my process in drawing poses. So this is how I draw a basic female pose, basic male pose, dynamic pose, seated pose, 
and different body types. This page looked much better before, but it kind of all got smudged because I used watercolor on this page. And this was the point where I started watching Owl House, The Owl House, and I loved it, so I decided to draw loose. Also, I used metallic watercolors. I don't know if you can tell, but it's so shiny in real life and so pretty. Then I drew my dog. It started off as a simple sketch, then I loved it so much, so I turned it into a digital drawing, and that was my wallpaper, and this is how that turned out. And then I just tried to stick a sticky note in here as well, just to make the sketchbook look a bit more full. But yeah, here's how the drawing looks, and I also used metallic watercolors again. Very shiny. <laughs> this was a drawing that I did in my sketchbook, but for some reason I hated it, so I took it out. Then I looked back at it afterwards, and it didn't seem that bad, so I decided to just stick it back in here. And looking at it now, I kind of like it. I don't know, maybe I was just being dramatic before. And here, this is just me getting hyped up for Stranger Things Season 4, Volume 2, which was coming out in four days at the point of me making this drawing. And I love how I used primary colors here. I think it just contrasts so well together. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with how the guys turned out because I'm trying to practice to draw guys and I feel like I'm getting there. Also, the shading for the fabric is something that I'm pretty proud of. This was my entry for another Draw This In Your Art Style contest and this is a hashtag. The sketch for this was really good, but then when I started coloring, the line art kind of smudged because of the pen I chose to use. This is just a random drawing inspired by something I saw on Pinterest. Actually, I used like colored pencils first, then I used watercolors on top, then I used alcohol-based markers and metallic markers, and finally I used my white gel pen. So yeah, it's a mixed media illustration. And because I love dogs so much, I decided to doodle a bunch of random dogs. I wasn't even at my desk, I just took my sketchbook and my ballpoint pen and I doodled these random dogs. Then I came back and then I used my colorless blender just to blend out the pen and I think it just looks so cute in the end and I just love making this page. And finally we are at the end of my sketchbook and I drew King because King is adorable and I was almost done with the Owl House anyway so this was kind of just some fan art and yeah that is it. But of course the end is just the beginning. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me on the sketchbook tour. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Stay awesome as always, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Also, got a new sketchbook to fill. Can't wait!